Currently our equipment is tracked manually. The only way that we can find where a piece of equipment is is by actually going out and finding the piece of equipment. Uh, we scour the flight line and random hangars looking for our equipment that could have been taken by other units. Currently our flight is spending 60 to 100 man hours a week tracking down equipment, whether it be for inspection, wash, or maintenance. While manual tracking may work in smaller units, here at Anderson we have the largest WRM fleet uh, in PACAF and have flown more sorties last year than Red Flag and Red Flag Alaska combined. Uh, GPS locator, we would just be able to ping and then instantly know where this piece of equipment is. So not only would GPS locators, uh, trackers help with finding the equipment for the aerospace ground equipment flight, we, here at Anderson we have a wash contract where, where it's contracted out to complete all the equipment washes because of the corrosive environment. Now in that contract, it's broke down where we have to spend extra money for them to pay a driver and track down this equipment so that they can bring in four of these washes every 90 days. Now if this wash crew were able to use this uh, locator, they would be able to instantly find each piece of equipment that's due and there would be no delay bringing these pieces in for the wash that's required. The GPS trackers that we're looking to install are non-invasive installation. Uh, they have an eight to 10 year lifespan and they have been tested for the corrosive environment here at Anderson. Once we've had time to utilize and test this GPS equipment, we would be able to uh, share what we've learned across the base and other units would be able to utilize these same locators, whether that be vehicle maintenance, tracking vehicles, or CRG tracking assets and getting real-time locations.